Well, do you have money? No. Do you have any money? Here. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. You are not <laughs> a little in shock. What does your mother say? Here we go anyway. Now we'll see what you got. Give it your own style. Give me a little smile. Everything's better now. Whether you're ready or not. Sure, Mom. I'm going. It's gonna be good. I'm sorry I'm late. A drummer who can't tell time? Well, can you win a big turnout from Dorsey? Yeah, sure, don't worry. This is Brad. He used to play with us. I... Plastic is everywhere. The calf, bathroom, all the halls. Hand them out to you. There's nothing like the personal touch. Sure, no problem. Hop in. Check it out at the Grove. Hey, guys. Friday night. Oh, wait, your concert. Is this your band, The Neons? She's really good. That's amazing. You're like the third girl I've met this year who's in a band. Uh, any VIP passes available? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, I can put you guys on the guest list. There's a party afterwards. Oh, great. Oh. I can actually stay out late. My mother is going to a party with her new boyfriend. She's seeing someone else? Uh, yeah. He's a musician. Oh. So you guys want to help me with these? Oh, I can't. I've got to rehearse. I've got an audition. For what? One guess. It's classic. Three guys, no brains, no heart, no guts. And the girl with a killer parachute. And they're walking down a yellow brick road. Oh, you're off to see the wizard? Yes! <laughs> yep. They're holding auditions at the community theater and they're looking for some kids. Why, they need munchkins or something? Not only. Won't she make the perfect lead? You scream, dork. Honestly, I can't wait to hear you sing somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, no, I sound like a sick chicken. Honestly, you do not. Okay, um, give me a high C. Oh, good luck. Hi, everyone. Oh, yeah, I'm the drummer. Thanks. Okay, look up. You see it. Storm, it's coming. More fear, Amanda. It's not a rain cloud, it's a tornado. Okay, now the dog thing. Toto? Toto? A more emotion, Amanda. He's your puppy. You lost him. I don't have a puppy, but I have a fish. Okay, perfect. Uh, draw on personal experiences, like Stanislavski said. Stanislavski? He's a famous acting teacher. Okay, right, the right, fish. Right. It's missing. It's not the tank. It may even be dead. My first fish died. Right, okay. Mm. How do you feel? Well, I, I flushed him down the toilet. Never mind. Okay, um, you're Dorothy. Through her eyes, what do you see? Well, it's cold and it's windy and... Good. Now call him. Come on, Dorothy. Sell it to me. Toto! Cool. Yeah. Wow. Hey, you can't take Frankie past the polenta. Since when did you become Miss Manners? Yeah, cut it out. Pass the food and eat, huh? Let me help you with that. 
Mm. Chicken's really good, ma. It's delicious, ma. Oh. Mm. Thanks, you guys. Here, friend. Mm. <clears throat> Whoa. Is that a real diamond? It better be. A ring. A no. Ring. Oh. You're getting married. Well, we weren't going to tell you till after dinner. This is yeah, so wonderful. I don't believe it. Hey, how much that thing cost? Hey, that's none of your business. Sam, get some glasses. For everyone? You're kidding? Absolutely. Uh, there's something else, Ma. You see, we don't have a lot of money coming in, and with the rent and everything, uh, we'll never get a down payment. You want to move back home? Here? If it's not possible, we understand. No, no. It's a great idea. You're going to live together before marriage? In my house? Sam, they live together now, don't they? Come on, Dad. Everybody does it nowadays. Under my roof? Sam, it's not that they're not committed. They need the down payment. Oh, fine. Fine. Everyone's doing it, so it must be okay. All right. This we talk about. But tonight... It's for celebration. But where will they stay? They're not getting my room. Oh, we were thinking maybe the basement. Uh, I mean, we did all that renovating for Nona. She's never going to move in. That's where I practice. We'll find you another place for your drums. It's not forever busy. Everyone's acting like this isn't important to me. We've got a gig coming up that could really make things happen for us. Enough. It's decided. To the happy couple. Happy married couple. Yeah. Ella Fami. Listen, Amanda, I gotta talk to you. You're not gonna believe this, but Manny Teller? Tell me what. I got a part in the Wizard of Oz. Isn't that amazing? Nina is designing my costume. Tell her what part you got. Dorothy, right? No, Dorothy went to some 40-year-old, but my role is much more challenging. It's conceptual. It's very avant-garde. I'm the tornado. The tornado? Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> You're playing weather? It's a very pivotal role, Busy. Without me, Dorothy would never get to Oz. Oh, right. You're a large air mass that is important. Oh, of course. It's nothing as important as your, uh, musical career. Well, you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. Come on, Amanda. Hi. Hi. Big night? Yeah. I'll only be a minute. I wanted to ask you something sort of important. I don't have any sisters. Join the club. When Manny and I first started going out and I met all of you, well, it's just so great to be part of this family. And if you'd be bridesmaid at my wedding, it'd mean a lot to me. Bridesmaid? What do I have to do? Just stand up for me. I, I don't have to give any speeches or anything, do I? No. Just show up. Okay. Just as long as I don't have to wear those dresses with the big poofy sleeves. Well, actually, the sleeves are quite elaborate, but the dresses are going to be great. I've got this idea of what I want in my head. I just have to find the right person to do it. I'm so glad you said yes. Good luck tonight. Thanks. Hey guys, hey. listen about the play. Busy, we're ready to go. Sorry, guys, gotta go. You know, Brad, you used to be your old drummer. We were wondering maybe he could just sit in for the first two numbers. Um, sure. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. 
Cool. Cool. Good fun, man. is that Brad said he's available now. I mean, the naked fray broke up. We've got to talk to Busy about this. We just flew with Brad. Yeah, we, we got to go with the best. This is the real world, Petricelli. Excuse me, guys. Have you seen Busy? I think she went to the washroom. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I mean, think about it. The guy can play. Like, he's good, but, you know, just think of the old times. Busy? Busy? I got the address for the party. I can't find Busy. Oh, she probably went ahead. You think Brad will be there tonight? Oh, I guess. I mean, it's the band's party. Oh, he's so hot. He's like the best drummer I've ever seen. Yeah, he was amazing. But they'd be crazy to dump Busy for him. I mean, he's quit the band once. He'll probably do it again. Well, guys don't have a tendency to think long term. <laughs> so mean. I've really got to talk to her. Well, she's probably at the party. Acoustics back here. I thought only dads had these. Excuse me. Hey, I gave you a flyer in the hallway. Yeah. You're the drummer. Yeah. The drummer. Found this in an old junk shop. It was pretty trash. They didn't know if I could get a sound out of it. <gasps> uh, pitch might have been clearer before. This is how it is now. Kind of like it. I'm Sag. Sharp Sagittarius. Busy. I saw what happened bringing in that headliner without telling you. Headliner? He had flash, but it was all show. I thought you were more solid. Solid. Yeah. It's not easy becoming your future. I have no idea what that means. You don't have to. Hey, you forgot your hanker... Yippity yuppie. Can't sleep in a real bed. 
It is a real bed. Futon bed. Futons. That's what they put in salads. Futons. Do you mind? She looks as it's good for my back. Yeah, well, it's killing mine. Hey, can we get this over with? I'm trying to have a weekend. I don't see why you just can't sleep in the day bed down there. It's a single. Yeah, and Sheila can sleep in Busy's room. Excuse me? Hey, hey, hey. Watch the floor. Hey, maybe I should just sleep in the car. Make everyone happy. Busy? It's for you. Uh, let's go get the rest of the joke. Hey, Busy. What's up, Petrocelli? Look. You're a really great drummer. You've got Save a lot of talent. Save the speech. I know why you're here, and I'm sure you'll be a lot happier with Brad. Try to understand, Busy. I mean, I feel really bad about this. Well, I'm sorry you feel bad. Maybe you can get somebody in the band to console you. Come on. You're not making this easy. What would you like me to say? Thanks for kicking me out. I'm sorry. Busy, I'm sorry about all this. I mean, you can still play when we're not around. Just forget it. I don't care. Busy. Hello? Amanda, I'm rehearsing. Right, Tornado Girl? Shouldn't you be hanging around a trailer park? It's an environmental sound effects tape. Hurricanes are so much more intense than typhoons. Here. Oh, that's okay. Here, listen, listen. This is me blowing from the Northeast. To be able to play Force of Nature, you really have to understand it first. Please be kidding. Those are your good drummer magazines. I thought you were saving them. Well, not anymore. Why, because of Brad? Oh, right. Brad, the most amazing drummer in the world. What? I was in the basement. I heard what you and Nina said about the guy. You were? Well, why didn't you come out? I didn't feel like it, okay? Well, just because I said he was good doesn't mean I don't think you're good, too. I know I'm good. I don't need you to tell me I'm good. What's wrong with you? Nothing. And I really don't need your pity. All right, fine. Forget it. You're so immature. Me? You're so wrapped up in your own selfish life, you don't even know what I've been going through. Well, then tell me, because that's what I came here for. You wouldn't understand, Amanda. You're too busy being artistic and researching the stupid weather for your play. Well, maybe you're right, Busy. Maybe I just don't understand you at all. Indigo blue Back against the wall Back against the wall. Invisible now. Where do I belong? Nowhere. Didn't eat much at dinner. Yeah, I remember the day we put these together. <laughs> you were so excited the first night we tucked you in. You look so small. Yeah, I wish I still was. How are you feeling? It's not even the band, it's just everything, I don't know. I'm drowning. Nothing's easy. Yeah. There's no guarantee things are going to get any easier. 
But there's so much I have for you. I don't know, maybe it's time we took these down. What do you think? You ready? Yeah. Let's do it now. I'll get the toolbox. thrown together, but um, it, it definitely has a quality of devastation and ruin. Um, I'm gonna get more ammo and I'm gonna meet you at rehearsal. You have no idea how great you look. <laughs> it's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, it's terrible. Everyone's gonna laugh at me, Busy. You don't even care. I do so. Come here. You know what look cool? Hmm. Get rid of the house. <laughs> And, um, hmm. braid your hair into a million of those tiny braids when it's wet. And then when you take it out, it'll be wild, like this. Tornado hair. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be much more in character. Can't believe you know about big hair. Yeah, neither can I. <laughs> Windswept. Hopelessly romantic. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about Saturday. Uh, it's okay. I guess I kind of freaked, you know, the band not fitting in here. Getting kicked out of my basement. The basement? Why? Because Manny's getting married and moving back home. Sheila's marrying Manny? Yeah, positive proof that love is blind. <laughs> I can't believe that. And get this, Sheila wants me to be a bridesmaid. <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> but, um, I'm supposed to be in rehearsal at the theater right now. Oh, so go, go. <sighs> Don't forget your house. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, you have to call me later and tell me everything, all right? I want details. Oh, and busy? Neon's rake without you. <laughs> it's washed. Ah, uh, keep it. Oh, thanks. So the first song I learned, I always come back to it. Sounds different than the night before. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> 